What's going on folks? You ever had a problem with your vehicle to where after you've pretty much checked your alternator, you checked your battery, if you let your vehicle set for a few days, when you come out, it's dead. Or maybe if you just don't drive it for one day, you come out, it won't start up. What you could have is a parasitic pretty much drain on your battery to where something is pulling from your battery when it's not supposed to be when your vehicle is off. You may not have this problem if you're running, starting your vehicle up every day because your alternator is recharging your battery. But if you let your vehicle sit, like I said, and it does that, you could have a draw. The way you want to see if you do have one, you want to take a multimeter pretty much. You want to put your red lead into your amperage part of it. And of course, your black into your common. And you want to set your multimeter to your amps. I got it on 10 amps just to start off. But what you should see when you're testing this is it should be like point something, like 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, which means that it shouldn't be a big drain on your battery when your vehicle is off. You want to make sure that you're doing this with your vehicle off where there's no other power coming to your battery pretty much from your alternate or nothing like that. So what you want to do is come over here. You want to remove your negative cable pretty much, your black cable from your battery. Then you want to take your, your red lead from your um, multimeter and take your black lead and stick it on the part to where you would screw this in or attach it to. So I'm putting it inside of the the, the hole up there and you look at the multimeter what you can see on this vehicle is it's showing a 2.3 2.2 drain this vehicle is off which means there's something pulling power from this battery when it's just setting now to figure out what that is what you can do is is connect this to it you may want to tape it down to the battery and over to here so you can hold it on there and then you kind of want to come to your fuels your few fu your fuse boxes and you want to just pull fuses out until you see a drop happen and the read on your multimeter i've already done on this vehicle what i figured out was it's the radio itself that's causing a problem i'm going to show you now first i'm going to do the first way before i pull the fuse if you look at the meter you see how it's reading like 2.3 that's way too high from what it should be reading with this vehicle been off. So now if I come over here to my fuse box, you gotta find you know, your fuse box, wherever yours is at. I'm pulling out. Yeah, I pulled out this fuse right here, which is to my radio. Set this to the side. And now when I come back here to my meter, I'm setting it back up again. Put the red on the terminal, well, on the actual lead from the vehicle, and the black into the battery. And if you can see now, it's reading like 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and all that, which tells me that the radio, or the clock on the radio, pretty much, is draining this battery. So next thing I'm going to have to do is figure out what's going on with that. I may need a new radio. I may just pull it out and look at the wires back behind it to make sure there's not something cross or something touching like that that's causing this drain. But once again, this is how you can figure out whether or not you have a parasitic drain on your battery pretty much that's happening when your vehicle is off for a day or so when you come outside it won't start but like i said you tested your your battery make sure that it's good and also you tested your alternator to make sure that's good also you want to make sure when you're doing this that your battery is charged up so if you had to jump your vehicle jump it get your battery back up to where it's starting your vehicle right then turn it off and then do this test like i said remove your negative cable Set your multimeter to amps, about to the 10 amps, something like that. Then you want to take your red onto your line off your vehicle. And then your black goes onto the battery terminal itself. And you should get a reading like 0 point something. If it's 2 point something, 3 point something, it tells you you have a problem. And what I just showed you is how you can test it just by pulling each fuse and wait and see if that drops. All right, folks, please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.